Hello. Welcome to our presentation about the performance of a corrugated carton. Corrugated cartons are primarily used as a secondary packaging medium and are also known as shippers. As in all types of packaging, its main purpose is to protect its contents. In simple words, the role of a corrugated carton is to ensure that the product reaches the consumer or retailer in the condition intended by the manufacturer of the product. In order to ensure this, the carton goes through a lot of planned and unplanned stages or conditions. The first and longest stage in a life cycle of the package is storage. This is where it spends almost 90% of its life. The carton are stacked and stored in warehouses or go-downs. This is also where 95% of the problems or performance issues occur. Every one of us has surely seen a warehouse with stacked cartons. At the top of the stack, everything seems fine, but as you look down towards the base of the stack, you will see a badly bruised, damaged carton about to collapse. Glance around and you will probably find the same situation in all the stacks across the warehouse. Is it a coincidence? Of course not. The carton is simply not strong enough to withstand the load of the stack. Ask any layman, why does the lowest carton look in a bad shape? He will promptly respond as stack weight is more than the carton's strength. Now ask a packaging or quality control man, what is the solution? A vast majority will reply, increase the bursting strength specification. Why bursting strength? If bursting was a problem, why only the lowest carton is affected? If bursting strength was the culprit, even the top carton should have burst open. In fact, the lowest carton has not burst at all. It has just gotten compressed. Even if the lowest carton has burst, it must have burst open because the carton collapsed and then pushed the product against the walls of the carton. Very rarely will you find the products themselves pushing the carton walls from inside and making the carton burst. So, if everyone understands that the carton failed because of stack load, then it is a problem in compression strength and not bursting strength. If that is the case, why are we running behind the wrong parameter? called a bursting strength. A large section of the people in this industry do not possess the correct and complete understanding of the subject. They either are or try to act ignorant. They will follow what is being done for the last 50, 60, 70 years and will resist any change in their systems. Then there is a class of people who are running the industry with incorrect and partial information. I dare say that these people with partial knowledge are more dangerous than the totally ignorant ones. Another segment of people exists who understand the issue very well, but will not want to go against age-old practices of the industry. Example. A packaging professional who is a consultant to the company will not try to change their age-old practices. He may think. What if the management does not like my idea? and I lose the contract. A packaging development employee will probably think, I am here in this company for two or three years. Why should I bother to go against the trend? A corrugation unit owner will say, I know how to improve the quality, but why bother? The buyer is giving me wrong specifications, and I am supplying whatever he wants. Let it be the way it is, for as long as possible. I wouldn't say these people are totally wrong. After all, who would want to swim against the current and bring in new ideas? Who will do all the explanation work? And the bottom line is, why fight the system? Everybody loves bursting strength. Testing equipment suppliers love bursting strength because it sells like hot cakes. Corrugation factories love bursting strength because the equipment is small and cheap. And more so, because it is easier to manipulate. The buyers are either ignorant or are not willing to bring about a change. 
no one is willing to put the foot down and say, hey, you have fooled me enough, give me real quality. Give me performance-based quality. Give me stack load capacity or compression strength. Smarter companies worldwide have already dumped bursting strength and adopted edge crush test and box compression test as a better representative of box performance quality. Why are you still following the wrong parameters? This presentation was brought to you by Pack Test Machines INC. Keep watching for more such videos.